Good morning, South Florida. I'm Eric Yetzi. Here's a look at your top stories on this Wednesday. Big turnout for 4th of July's festivities across South Florida. Yesterday, people coming out to Miami's Bayfront Park to celebrate America's 247th birthday. Colorful displays lit up Tropical Park and Miami Beach as well. Patriotic parties were happening around Broward County as well, including an Independence Day parade through the streets of Plantation. Starting today, victims, families and survivors of the MSD massacre will be allowed inside the 1200 building. The Broward State Attorney's Office has had possession of the freshman building since the Valentine's Day shooting in 2018. It has been preserved as a crime scene for the trials of the shooter and the former school resource officer. With those trials complete, family and survivors may visit the building over the next few weeks. Then custody of that building will be turned back over to the school district before it is demolished. An investigation is underway after a car plunged into an apartment complex swimming pool in Fort Lauderdale. Witnesses say the young woman who lives at the complex off of Northeast 30th Street lost control, crashed through the fence before landing in the pool. Good Samaritan jumped into the water, pulled her out of that sinking car. Thankfully, no major injuries, and that car you can see was later removed. And only on 10, a man caught trying to break into a nail salon in Davie. Employees at Davie's Nails say the man came into the salon twice asking for money. He refused and locked the doors. Moments later, he is seen kicking the glass door and screaming. The suspect allegedly tried breaking into a neighboring business as well. People from a nearby pizza place tried to catch the man, but he ran away. If you recognize who that is, call Broward Crime Stoppers at 954-493-TIPS. As breaking news happens, we keep you covered on air and online. Head to Local10.com all day long for more local news coverage and updates.